That's it. I'm going to be flip flopping. I got all that shit. I'm going to be flip flopping. <laughs> <laughs> he got all types of characters in that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm found them all. This is going to be a wild show. I can already tell. Ken this got is, yet. This is the fellow tonight and shit. This is the <laughs> Welcome to episode 170 of Technical File, the sports podcast you never knew you needed. And this is your boy, T I M K I N Z, the number three, aka Ass Ketchum, aka Mr. Give It To Me. Wee wee. Wee wee. They should have never gave us Zoom filters. Never. No, they found me my hat. <laughs> Not the I am the RJ. Only known know as the RJ. And I'm Camille Poingard of the crew, the real life Tifa Lockhart, the girl next door. You know, holding it down for all the women who <laughs> love sports. Um, it is your boy. Okay, here's gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen. The Lakers super fan. We out here. We did it in this motherfucker. We out here. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. gentlemen. I'm better known as KD. Yeah, we ain't Stephen A. Smith out here. You can't just be out here infringing on gimmicks. Mm-hmm. Or oh, Shannon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's celebrate. I'm just this saying. You know? Celebrate. I'm, I'm, Shannon ain't got the I'm good. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know? What I really we want. Ain't, we, we ain't. We ain't still in there. I really want it. Huh? That's true. <laughs> But I mean, if you want some yak and some black, I would have been Snoop Dogg. You know, if they not did, it would have been a problem. Fair enough. Fair enough. Tim, if people were looking for us on social media, where could they find us? Well, you can find us on www.technicalfile.com. Don't forget to put the K on that motherfucker. Awesome. Yeah. You can find us on the Instagram and the Twitter. T E C K F O U L. Mm-mm. No, it's that technical. Mm-mm. God damn. That's a bell. Man, that, <laughs> it's a bell. I ain't had one of those in a minute. You anyway. haven't. You, it's been a while. Yeah, well, at Technical File on Instagram and the Twitter. Uh, technical File Podcast, which is our Facebook page. And then we have Technical File Pod over time, which is our Facebook group where you can join in with the listeners, fam, fans, and the fam. But you can go most of you don't know which our YouTube as well at Technical File Podcast. Y'all gotta watch the YouTube one this week because again, they should have never gave us filters because should have never gave you niggas money. <laughs> oh, the whole the whole thing it was important. <laughs> oh, what? I know this shit. All right. <laughs> well, now you know. Exactly. I mean, saw when the red light came on too. I'm like, they don't even know. Because it was like, as soon as oh. Ken signed on, <laughs> like, the red light like, came on. No, we started this shit. I was like, fuck. We did our intros, fam. How did you not know we started it? <laughs> All right. But like I say, week, man. Uh, if you guys hey, enjoyed it. Wait, wait, give him a bell. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're over there. the Matrix. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Ken. Uh, like I say, week man. If you guys enjoy being a part of this amazing tech file fam, um, share with everyone you know: your mama, your daddy, your granny, your uncle, your auntie, everybody, <laughs> everybody. You know. uh, make sure you share it, man. I feel like we do a great job at you know entertaining y'all and bringing forth uh, great content. So share with everybody you know, man, so we can grow. Tech file fam out here all day. Is there for sure? You got a ch- tech file challenge for the people this week. How you doing? <laughs> oh, what's up? Oh, what's up? What's up? Oh, um, this week, I don't know. Um, all my Laker fans, report right now. Oh, God. Social media. Every oh, yeah, social victory media lap. right now at this very moment. Okay. Just put in your gold, your um, your gold and purple hearts out here. It's some um, strong emojis out here. <laughs> well, Let's we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Oh, we will. 
But <laughs> where, wherever you find podcasts, you can find us. That includes Apple Podcasts, mm-hmm. Google Podcasts, yes, sir. Stitcher, yes, sir. SoundCloud, SoundCloud, let's go. Spotify, Spotify. Amazon Music. Don't get. I heart radio. He forgot what he said. Boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> Wooshka. 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 Uh, uh, oh, sorry. My bad. Himalaya. Like a player. And wherever you're listening to this episode right now, while there, make sure that you like, subscribe, rate, and review five stars. Um, it helps us, and we appreciate it. For sure. So before we get into the topics of the week, we are going to be shouting out our top listening cities and international listeners from the past week. So number one, with a bullet, it was a strong number one this week, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hey, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Way to go, hometown. Way to go. <laughs> Your mother fucking two. first place. <laughs> <laughs> hey, facts. Number two, we got Columbus, Ohio. Okay, okay Columbus. Columbus. That's what's up. Welcome. Number, th- number three, we got Chicago, Illinois. Shut town. Y'all stay showing love. Thank you. We appreciate, appreciate y'all. Number four, we got Picayune, Mississippi. Picayune. Picayune strong. Number five, we have San Francisco. San Francisco. Yeah. Didn't know Greetings. <laughs> Number six, we got Fresno, Texas. Okay, Fresno. Number seven, we have Racine, Wisconsin. Racine. Greetings. No- Number eight, we have Laurel, Maryland. Okay, Laurel. Laurel, Maryland. Mm-hmm. What's up? Number nine, we got Brooklyn, or uh, Brooklyn, not Brooklyn, sorry, the complete opposite. Brookfield, Wisconsin. Nine! Uh, <laughs> somebody from Brookfield was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? What is this? <laughs> How dare you compare? <laughs> <laughs> I pay my property taxes. <laughs> Brookfield, man. Shout out to Brookfield. <laughs> Put the respect for my city. <laughs> <laughs> no, none of y'all wear masks either. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this championship can this week, fam. <laughs> this is a different okay, level. Bro, the Brookfield. Number 10, last but not least, we have Austin, Texas. All right, Texas. What up, Austin? I see y'all. <laughs> see y'all out here. International listeners, and just to remind everybody, this is going in order by the most listens by country. So we have, for international listeners this week, Russia. Welcome back, Russia. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Appreciate y'all. We got Poland. Poland. Welcome. Belgium. Belgium, you be here every week. Welcome back. Germany. Uh, Germany. What up, Germany? Greece. Okay, Greece. The free. Oh, well, welcome. <laughs> What's up, Giannis? Thank you for listening, man. We appreciate Thank it. Let your Thank brother know we're serious about hosting his listening party. Oh, we, 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 <laughs> we, want Ophili, we want that Ophili party. Ophili. Oh, dead ass. Sure. We also have Spain. Spain be there. Welcome Trusty back. Trusty Spain. Trusty mm-hmm. Spain. Welcome we got back. Fiji. Oh, okay, Fiji. Okay, that's a new Fiji? one. That's yeah, Fiji <laughs> tuned in last week. That's what's up. Welcome, come and on I, back. And we also had Vietnam. Oh, Vietnam. Uh, okay. Shit. Making well, our way in Asia. Yeah, I was like, okay, I like that's, that. I like that. We're getting that love, our tech file love. I see y'all. More international. Let us know who you are, though, see. man. Hop on our social medias. Let let us know where you are from. Let us know who you are. For sure. And that being said. We're going to get into the topics of the week now. Since the NFL season has started, we have generally began with the pick and pull. But given the fact that the Lakers won the championship, Dooch, I'm yeah. going to invite you to unmute yourself. Y'all going to have y'all victory lap. We're going to start with the NBA finals recap. <laughs> We're just going to start here. 
Y'all team did it. I'm talking about me, you know. This thing. <laughs> 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 Hey, I had to get my popcorn. I was ready, bro. I had to go some chick catch this flick, bro. Uh, In case you guys didn't know, the Lakers won the NBA Finals 4 2 over the Miami Heat. Since we Mm -hmm. last recorded, LeBron passed the ball to Danny Green in game five. Danny Green missed. That's mm -hmm. me. He got death threats, which is <laughs> y'all are so extra. <laughs> <now. laughs> I swear, it is not that serious. It's not that serious. Never it that is serious. never that serious. Calm never. down. It is a game. Never that serious, bro. At all. Game six rolled around. Goran Dragic was like, "Yo, please let me play." Apparently, he's been begging for days. Like, please, and they let him play. He returned. Can't say it worked too. I was gonna say I'm not sure how much of a net positive. <laughs> <laughs> he said catch that work too. <laughs> it was, but the Miami Heat were just gassed from the beginning of the game six. It was like over and like you could tell the Lakers about to take mm-hmm. that and they took it quick. Yeah, they played too many minutes uh game five. Especially Jimmy Butler. After I saw Jimmy, yeah. <laughs> you know, I saw Jimmy come off the little podium stand and he could, he was walking like he was eighty. I was like <laughs> it <is over>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get back. He needed to sleep all day to get that's, that. Back. Yeah, exactly. Like real talk. Like he was. He been been through. It, goddamn. <laughs> yeah, he was gas. Jimmy tried been... to put a stamp out there, bro. He, he put his name out there for real. Yeah, he I was seen it. Up. I seen it oh, after I, after that I, foul, and he he uh like rested on the thing when he leaned yeah. on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, man, it's tired out here, bro. Tired, Yeah, right? I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. 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 Help, help me. On the real. <laughs> help me. <laughs> Oh shit! They suck the job. Um, couldn't play them at full health the entire time, but it's a well deserved title nonetheless. Don't fucking matter. Of, it was, no, it was, it was, it was, it was of, <laughs> the same one that would have that wasn't there would have thought this worked too. Goddamn it! On the real, yeah. run it back next year. Then we gonna get another dub. <laughs> I, fuck I don't with know that. if it will be there next year. Well, you be, uh, congratulations this year. Uh, it don't matter. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, let, let me just say, I didn't miss. I didn't miss cocky Laker fans. Didn't miss. Not at all. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> like the last three, the last three days on Twitter have been hell. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, yeah, I that. Were that. Were we were, were, were we supposed to be? We've been yeah, down. We've been down the decade. <laughs> so, you know, back up top. You know, we out here. Like, you know, shout I, out. To we I got here. on Twitter like at peak Laker Twitterdom, and I forgot what it was like. Mm-hmm. Y'all are Lick. wild. Lick. Lick. Y'all was cropping Kobe in the picture. Yeah. Yeah. Need to be cropped, dancing and shit. <laughs> he 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 get this too. We all celebrate. Oh. oh my god! Y'all have been acting out ever since this championship. <laughs> oh, dummy! A bunch of J.R. Smiths, bro. I was celebrating like. I ain't even smell the. I ain't smell no Spalding, but I did. <laughs> I <get it> there. <laughs> I'm celebrating like I got damn dead. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, man. We've been, we been down so long, man. We just happy. Man, man. It feels uh-huh. good. Oh, wow. <laughs> <Old> decade. <laughs> <laughs> like they act like it's a real drought and shit. It's ten years. Like, hey right. man, that's a long time. It's, it's motherfuckers in middle we school that I seen the Lakers you know, t- title. Like, <laughs> you know, we, you know, Bucks fans used to it. You know, Bucks fans used to this. We ain't used to that. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> how we going there now? Oh, we, 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 we can't get them no props. This is exactly <laughs> why you can't do nothing for the winners over here. Keep like, <laughs> you, oh, your winner here. <laughs> Acting like they got it out the mud. Like, they <laughs> just bought a title and shit. Like, <laughs> yes, I mean, like y'all tried building organically and failed miserably. Oh, miserably. Shit. Miserably. Oh, man. Miserably. Y'all hey, man. acting like y'all motherfuckers were not here getting y'all asses whoops. We was. That's why we happy now. <laughs> exactly. And I still was there. Damn. I was there every no single day. No humility. Way. That's you why I feel so good. We no, was, y'all hop right back on the bullshit train. Man, we was right there. Right back on the bullshit train. We was there train. when, uh, Jordan Clarkson was in the hot, in the uh, starting five. That was our starter, bro. He was our star. Clarkson was our star, bro. 
Like, come on, man. What you mean? Buying them, bro? What you mean, bro? Oh, man. Hey, y'all built we that just, shit. Man, stop that, bro. We deserve this shit, B. We been there, bro, in the trenches. Yeah, man. When we was garbage. When niggas can't even name our start. <laughs> <For real? laughs> we was there. I was there. I was, I was there. there. Man, you talking about the whole bus existence this decade. I mean, this century. <laughs> before right. y'all this shit. Like, trying to hear that shit. Uh, Oh, man. I was everybody trying to hear that. Y'all, <laughs> y'all was due. Y'all was due for that. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like what I saw. Generational player, go that, go to that damn franchise. I don't want to hear that shit. We just, we just have man. <laughs> I can't fault out the Bucks when I don't know how. Year, y'all, come on, man. At least one I mean, of you them. actually earned that though. Right? We uh-huh. tried to give you the props and shit. You come attack us. <laughs> I attack it back. I'm just And that's the thing. Like, I feel like every. Oh, Every man. Laker fan had like a hit list of everybody that was just talking shit like the last decade, and they just came back full force. <laughs> I saw you talking. I saw you talking. Y'all just got back to back MVPs. Where's his chip? Like just all kind of shit, bro. Oh man, just all kind of shit. Right, he living in they. He living in they had rent free because like all I heard the last couple. Well, Anthony, uh, Anthony Davis guarded Jimmy Butler like. <laughs> That's it. Like, it, they just keep bringing the bucks back. We don't need to I'm bringing them back. Oh, <laughs> dragging shit. us back into it. Y'all just want somebody to fight with. Oh, keep fucking with us. <laughs> hey, all I know is that we are the world champions. You know what I'm saying? I was we gonna, are. I was going to play We Are the Champions. Hey, the, bro, I was going to start playing. <laughs> playing <baby. laughs> yeah, we um, out here. You, you, you guys are. Y'all, y'all are no oh, ass. Y'all the no, no ass in my butt. Hell, we heard that shit. I can eat a dick. Talk about that. These, what the fuck? No. You right? You right? No, y'all, y'all definitely deserved it. It was a good. It was a good. It's a good one for Brian and uh, AD. AD got his first one. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm happy for AD for real, man. His emotion when he realized that that, that he was winning a championship was really yeah. cool to see. It was really cool to see. What about Rondo, man? I've been saying Rondo was the key, bro. Rondo, Rondo was really fucking- did push up. Like once he came back, he, he was really cooking, did. bro. Yeah, I told you it was the key. If Rondo wouldn't have came back from his injury, bro, we would not have won. Yeah, he because he was key in that Houston series, big time. Yeah, big money. Yeah, Rondo was y'all missing call. Y'all needed a point guard. Y'all needed a point guard. <laughs> I doubt we did. <laughs> all we did. If LeBron can't be yeah, the point guard too, he ain't trying to put up thirty a game. Can I interest you in a, a slightly used Eric Bledsoe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> for Rondo, nah. not. Nah. I mean, not for Rondo, but. Oh, we can do that. Who y'all want? Case? Y'all, y'all take Kuzu. Kuzu be tripping me. I got it. He be dog. He dog. He be shooting like he got the green light, bro. He yeah, be on the green light. Real life. No, nah, bro. Not on this squad. Two years ago, did he have the green light? I was just about to say that. <laughs> I was about to say, like, two years ago, he did have the green light. Exactly. That was two years ago. I don't too, I don't too often make proclamations, but I I, I guarantee, guarantee Kyle Kuzma ain't going to be back next year. Really? No, I'll see you next year. Mm. I'll see you. Hey, bro, uh, thank you for all you've done. Appreciate as many side eyes as LeBron threw that man in, in the finals alone. Like, like I, I, I think he like yeah. tried to do like a behind the back pass and threw it out of bounds. Like LeBron just like, yeah. <laughs> like come what, like bro, we back up the court. Like it was another time he got knocked over and like they just looked at him and then like ran back up the court. Like nobody ran over to pick him up. Nothing. Like, <laughs> hey, I hate to see it, but hey, hell, shit, Javale McGee even came over. He the first uh, out of the Kubo with the chip. Like, come on, bro. He's yeah. <laughs> hey. He got one, though. I mean, he got to give his props. He on the squad. Hey, everybody talking about Giannis. Mm. Hey. All right. He got one. That's motivation. That's motivation for your boy. You got That's one. All. That's just motivation for your boy. Motivation is getting us another uh, top three superstar on our team. <laughs> I'll talk. Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. Y'all good. Yeah. Y'all good over there. But yeah. y'all, you guys are doing phenomenal. You guys are <laughs> you, know, you guys a are bang great. up job. <laughs> you guys are doing a bang job. You guys are great. <laughs> Any other thoughts on the on the finals? I know what Ken's um blow the whistle is. 
So yeah, we're gonna come back to LeBron at the end. I'm LeBron. throwing another person at that too, cause this nigga pissing me off all week. I'm on this oh. nigga heels. Oh, oh is, it, uh, is it is uh, it Nerbert order? Hmm. Oh no, not them. Of oh, them too. <laughs> I got enough smoke for everybody. They can catch you too. Since we're talking about champions and championships, we got to shout out Rafael Nadal, who won his 13th, 13th French Open title. He is now uh-huh. tied with Roger Federer with 20 total career Grand Slams, all-time record. It's a lot. It is. So the, the question becomes, Nadal or Federer, who gets to 21 first? Wait, so 13 of Nadal's 20 were French Opens? Yes, he is the king of clay. That is his real nickname. Yeah. It is well deserved. <laughs> he Clay. rarely loses on that clay. Somewhere pissed. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, because I mean, I guess essentially it's like, will Federer win one before next year's French Open? Is essentially exactly, question, right? and I have no idea. I I want Federer to get there first. I think that's my boy, but if y'all get the clay and it's still tied. Nadal's definitely well, actually, gonna break that. I got a question for you as the tennis fan. Like, is, is it more to he's one like that like he's just dominant on clay, or that Federer can like win on all different surfaces? You said, is it better? I mean, I'm just saying, like, is, what's more impressive to you, like the 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 single handed like dominance, or the fact that Federer is kind of like more fa- multifaceted, but isn't mm-hmm. as dominant on any surface? As That's part of the reason why is. I love Federer because my my guy Derek used to always call him a robot when he was younger because he was like, doesn't matter which surface you put him on, like he is still producing, and it's it's unfair because the speed of the tennis ball on the grass court of Wimbledon is so much different than the hard courts that you get at like the U.S. Open. So it's like to be able to be a master at both is impressive, but somebody <clears throat> being as single handedly dominant in one area as Nadal is on clay is. It's scary. Like, if you get on red clay, you're about to lose. Like, you just know it. Like, you're looking over the net like, oh, well, what's the point? <laughs> I think he's only lost twice at the French Open, if that. I think one, he might have just pulled out because of injury. But yeah, he just don't lose. Personally, Federer. But I understand why someone could say Nadal at the same time. NFL. So, this nigga can. He he won the pool again for the whole week. <laughs> <laughs> Out here, let's go. Winner, winner, chicken. <laughs> he the only and... person having a good 2020 and shit. <laughs> <laughs> His, uh, what, what got Ken the win this week was that he had the Bears winning, and he was the only one who had the Bears <laughs> winning, and it was his highest confidence. Y'all want to doubt. I, I trust in my squad. He just forgot to adjust it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I did. I don't think I did, too, but it, it worked out, goddammit. So it worked out. Shit. As we're recording, since Thursday, or not Thursday, Tuesday night football is on, the pool is still active because the week is still technically ongoing. So we are we can't actually do our pick in the app right now. For week six, but uh, y'all can because it should be updated by now. So, fellas, remember to put y'all picks in after. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have the Houston Texans up against the Tennessee Titans. The undefeated undefeated Tennessee Titans, let me add. I'm going to go with Houston. Sorry. Is that one of the games they got like uh, reshuffled or they're actually going to play that? It got reshuffled here, but this is going to be their first game back since the outbreak. Yeah. Wait, I thought they played tonight. Tennessee is playing right now. Oh, yeah. This is uh, my fault. Yeah, they're playing right now. The game going on and talking about a different week is a little confusing, but this will be their (laughs) second game back. So their record might not be 3-0 when y'all hear this. It won't be. It's a guarantee. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> anyway, black quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. You so. <clears throat> and they now, now they got rid of that coach that they hate. Mm-hmm. 
They look better. They won, That's what I meant to mention. Yeah, so apparently part of what led to Bill O'Brien's firing is that, like, he got into an argument with J.J. Watt. So I'm just interested to see if, like, now J.J. Watt gets that coach killer, uh, you know, reputation that, like, mm-hmm. LeBron and all of them get, like, whenever a coach gets fired because they don't like him. Tim saying, nah. Nah. You know it ain't go. You know that ain't it. <laughs> you know that ain't gonna stick it up. Not the superhero. Just throw it out there. Not the <laughs> superhero. No. 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 <laughs> Was that a clean sweep for Houston next week? Well, this week. Yes. Yes. Cincinnati Bengals against the Indianapolis Colts. <clears throat> I hate the Bengals record. One, three, and one. I hate Ty so much. I'm going with the Colts. I want to say Cincinnati for some reason, and I don't really know I do why. Too. I don't know why. I'm going Cincinnati. Yeah, I'm going to go Cincinnati. I'm going to just drop that confidence all the way down. The 0-5 Atlanta Falcons against the 1-4 Minnesota Vikings. Now, the Falcons did fire their coach and they GM. Right. This was That, that last L was, was, was it. I think they might get a win. Yeah, they do for one. They Big definitely. Three? They got a black coach now, so that's what I'm picking. So, <clears throat> the right. issue with Atlanta, right, is. You have a virtual mustache over your real mustache, so you can twirl the fake one. one. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, okay. The, the issue that I have with Atlanta is that the coach, the, this, their interim coach, is also the def- he's their defensive coordinator. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know about this defensive coordinator being your head coach when that was one of your biggest issues. Why didn't I hire the offensive coordinator? I mean, I, I get you, he was a former head coach, so he probably has that there. I'll let, but the offense yeah, ain't been the problem. Answer, the defense has. So, why pull away from the one thing that's been doing good? Like, Man, I always figured just keep him there doing the offense and shit. Don't worry about nothing else. That's, like, that's the only other thing. But okay. I still got Atlanta losing. <laughs> Even if Minnesota don't have Dalvin Cook, oh shit, they're not gonna have Dalvin Cook. Nope, he isn't. He isn't expected to play at this moment. We're not. And then they get their first win because <laughs> they ain't got no corners over in Minnesota. Uh, Ken and Eric, who did y'all have? I said black. Yeah, I'm lying. You said black. Okay. The one and three Denver Broncos against the two and two New England Patriots. Patriots. Yeah. Patriots. Cam, Cam might be back by then too, right? He should be. Cam and them. Yep. Clean sweep. One and four Washington football team against the 0 and five New York Giants. Giants go get a win. I'm going to go Alex Smith and them. Nah, they ain't got a black quarterback no more. Let's go Giants. Yeah, I'm going to go Giants. Because I don't think Alex Smith is starting. They've been – so the word on the street was they was trying to get him to be the starter by the se- end of the season anyway. So the fact that they done jumped him into the starting spot because Haskins done. He, he's number three on the depth chart anyways. Haskins done, done. So Alex Smith is going to run that shit from here on out until he can get hurt again. If Hopefully that doesn't hurt. I don't think that happen. But He ain't – he ain't starting now. They still got Kyle Allen starting. Kyle Allen hurt, ain't he? Kyle, if he's healthy, he's the starter. We'll see what happens. <laughs> you think it? Oh, they could be plotting to get. I mean, they could be plotting. Yeah. To I get say, it was a, it was an article. No, they didn't want him to be their starter anyway. So, but we'll see what happens. This be a slow burn if that's the case. They just going through all the quarterbacks to get to him. Mm-hmm. All right, we have the four and one Baltimore Ravens against the one three and one Philadelphia Eagles. Come on now, Baltimore. <laughs> Come on now. You right. You right. Clean Baltimore. Sweet. You ain't Clean know. sweet. The four and one Cleveland Browns against the four and zero Pittsburgh Steelers. Mm. Just remember, this is the first game they're gonna play since the Helmet Gate. This will be a good game too. I'll say Pittsburgh. Gotta go with the black coach. Mm. I, 
I think I'm Cleveland might. Uh, I think Cleveland might be for real, but I really like. Mm, I'm gonna go with Cleveland. I'm gonna go with Cleveland. Even mm, Baker, but Baker got that little rib energy injury. I'm gonna go. Pittsburgh. I don't feel good about it, but I'm going to go Pittsburgh. It is a good idea. The four and one Chicago Bears against the three and two Carolina Panthers. I don't know how y'all won that game last week, but they keep somehow looking into these damn games, bro. Win is a win. Y'all going to end up winning like 12 games or something, and no one's going to know if y'all really good or not. Hey, oh, I'm no, first week of the playoffs. A win is a win. <laughs> they just keep looking into these damn dubs, bro. <laughs> but say like me, like quarterback. I, yeah, I'm about to say I think Teddy gonna light y'all up. Yeah. No, he might be. He might like I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I read this article uh, when the Panthers were down 0-2, and mm-hmm. it said that they had a team meeting. And in that team meeting, they kind of talked, and they were like, "What's missing on this team is like an actual brotherhood, like." We're not really cool. We don't know each other. And they had like this moment of like getting to know each other and sharing and talking about motivations and this and this and that. Because they were saying that it's always easier to play for somebody when you like them. You know, team chemistry is so important in sports. So the the team chemistry building exercise and they've been three and oh since. Okay. Mike Davis been getting the shit off too. Yes. I thought they would miss McCaffrey more, but. They said he was prepared. <laughs> he looked like it. Yeah. Wait, is he out for the year? No. No, he's yeah. coming back soon. Oh. Like three more weeks, I think. Two or three more weeks. I'm going to go with Carolina. I think this is an actual good football team. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Ken. Trash, but- no, you did. We have the one and three Detroit Lions against the one and four Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah. Ah, uh, oh, Lions. Yeah, I'm going to say Detroit. I feel Lions, too. I, I want to say Detroit as well, but I feel like Jacksonville will come to play again. Detroit. I'm going to take Detroit. <clears throat> I would guess that Eric would say Black yeah. City. So, Detroit. No. Nah. <laughs> he said no. <nah. laughs> Matt Patricia is the head coach in Detroit, so fuck him. <laughs> Jacksonville. <laughs> 0 oh, and 5 New York Jets against the 2 and 3 Miami Dolphins. I'm going Miami. Miami. Yeah, Miami. Miami gonna pull that off. Black coach. The Jets are actually tr- looking for trade partners for Le'Veon Bell. Hmm. They should have got rid of him last year before they signed him when the coach said that he didn't want him in the first place. <laughs> I don't want to give him running back that. That's too much money to give him. It has not fucked with him since. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's very fair. I don't know how Adam Gase is still the coach there, but I'm not going to pick them. He got some dirt uh, on somebody. I was going to say he got dirt. <laughs> that's the only explanation. Came in out of nowhere after the GM picked the damn team. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Mike, what was it, McCannion or McCagnon? McCagnon. Yeah. We have the 4-0. Green Bay Packers against the three and two wait, 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 Tampa wait. Bay Buccaneers. Say that again. The four again. and zero oh Green Bay Packers. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. The undefeated Green One, Bay two, three, Packers. Four. Yeah, undefeated. <laughs> We're about to get our never field. lost. On <laughs> <laughs> Sunday we go get a field. <laughs> I said one, two, three, four. <laughs> field. <laughs> I agree with with Tim. Who they playing? Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Oh, yeah. Fuck Tom Brady. Um, <laughs> Packers. <laughs> it's, I think it should be a good game. I'm excited for it. I'm, I love seeing Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers play each other. It Ken, be uh, you've, been, you've been a little quiet there. Uh, <clears throat> who do you have to uh, that game, sir? I'm going to go Packers. They go undefeated. <laughs> it's like it hurt you to say that. Yeah. Packers. I mean, I mean, you're wearing yellow. You might as well. Uh, I'm starting Aaron Rodgers this week, so. <laughs> Putting your faith in Green I'll... Bay, huh? Huh? Your oh, yeah, I'll put, it, I, I'll put it in. I'll put it in. Yeah, he's he the goat. I'll put it in. <laughs> the faith. <right? laughs> <laughs> it's like, whoa. 
<laughs> we have the saying. four and one <laughs> Los Angeles Rams against the two and three San Francisco 49ers. What a best Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy didn't look right yet. He I still mean, ain't. Like seven for 17. His it was like, I ain't lying, man. Go ahead, see. Go ahead and see, boss. He, he didn't need to be out there. So, yeah. I'm going, going with the Rams. With the Rams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going Rams. They look good. They look really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Clean sweep on that. We got the Kansas City Chiefs, the 4 and 1 Chiefs, against the 4 and 0 oh, Buffalo Bills. Should I'm going Kansas City. Game. Even though it was a shock that the Raiders got to him. I was yeah. shocked. They're not going to lose this week, though. Flabbergasted. Yeah. Buffalo's good. Buffalo is good, though. Like, Buffalo is good, yo. Josh Allen going to try to put on the show because he I'm, know who across from him. Who did Buffalo lose to? They got smacked by somebody. I can, Buffalo start on him too. I can start him this week, too. Josh Allen? Yeah. Can't over here take Josh him Allen is, it will be a great over. start against them, against uh, Kansas City because he'd be running, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Tim for putting me on the uh, DraftKings. Show. Hey, I mean, uh, I'm a great woman. <laughs> <laughs> Derek Carey did it again, y'all. He he stiff armed the crap out of Josh Norman, and it, that's a big boy. He jack he got some Jack's arms, bro, from Mordecai. <laughs> <laughs> Young Jacks are old Jacks. Both of them better hard. <laughs> The all still metal nigga shit. I'm going Buffalo. Um, bro. yeah. Ah. Wait, sorry. What? Who's playing? Uh, Kansas the City. Chiefs and the Bills. You going? Oh, Chiefs. black quarterback. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going Kansas City. All right. The three and two Arizona Cardinals against the two and three Dallas Cowboys. Arizona. Yeah. Dak had that. Why, why would you put the? Why are you a burglar now? Okay. Booty bag. <laughs> puss, puss, puss and boots, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, donkey, look at us, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say Satan. Did you turn? We are <laughs> going to have Kyler Murray against uh, <clears throat> Andy Dallas Dalton. <laughs> As our quarterback matchup, Dak had a really bad injury, yes, and I yes. was watching as it happened because it was wild because the angle they had that you couldn't tell his ankle was like that far off track, mm-hmm. and we're almost like I think he might just have a cramp, and then they changed the camera view and you saw the ankle and it was just like oh my, like t- t- change it, change it, change it. We don't need to see it again. Please <laughs> get that off my screen. Get that shit off my screen. I don't yeah. want. I don't like to see injuries like. Woo, yeah, I was ugly. And y'all still, still, still don't want to. Four to six months. Bro, definitely praying for, for you know healing for real because that's Jerry Jones pay that man for real. Like man. but to be fair, I do feel like Andy Dalton will do pretty decent in this offense because. To be fair, Andy Dalton did not have a line <laughs> in Cincinnati at all. And for to be fair, Andy Dalton did not have the complement of wide receiver weapons or running back that they have in Dallas. But you, fuck them nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> the black man go down now, you a cowboy fan and shit? No, fuck that. <laughs> fuck them nonetheless. <laughs> He put the, the D on his on his chest next and shit. Hell <laughs> no! <laughs> nah, he's talking about that. Eric got the D on his chest already. Uh, I have a whole word. Pause. <laughs> Is there a D Dang. on your chest? Hey, Kiki, Kiki Kinsey out here. Is there a D on your chest? <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> are we all going with Arizona? <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. Arizona. Yes. The Raiders, the Saints, the Chargers, and the Seahawks are all on the bye this week. <clears throat> I almost pulled off a win in our FanDuel pool this week, but Keenan Allen getting hurt set me back. I had some catching up to do, but Herbert was my quarterback. Mm. That young boy is good. Yeah, he, was, he was cooking. 
He's good. Oh yeah, right. the Titans are smacking the Bills. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 10 21 going into halftime. Y'all still going with Buffalo against Kansas City? That's just me. Yeah, I remember they got uh, smacked before that defense was supposed to be cold, but they got to respond next week. So, yeah. 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 Comeback story. Yeah. You are scaring me with this virtual, <laughs> with this particular filter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why I oughta? <laughs> Let's go to the be radio because this is stick up. <laughs> <laughs> you, <can see. laughs> you are wild. Yes, radio time. Ken, for yes. the people who are new here and might not know, could you please explain what the radio segment is? Yeah. And, uh, um, yeah, this is the part of the show where we um play a song that is sport adjacent. <laughs> Um, either written, produced, um, created, um, performed by someone in the sports realm. Um, Tim is our DJ. DJ, give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> and the, <laughs> and this <laughs> um, production meeting. So, this week, fellas, because the Lakers won, I wanted to do something Laker-ish, related-ish. We're going to have a repeat, but this song was never an official radio song, but it was played on the show. Okay. Since, you know, LeBron is, you know, dominating the conversations, we're going to play a LeBron James rap song. This week's song is LeBron James and KD. It ain't easy. LeBron James and KD. It ain't (laughs) easy. Don't hate, man. Mm, It's hard not to. (laughs) (laughs) Not even a lot to you. Do you recall when we played this before? I don't remember. Man, it's probably so bad I forgot. (laughs) Every time I remember this. (laughs) (laughs) All right, well. Got it. A refresher for us all. (laughs) Oops, spoiler. (laughs) Um. Everybody get your garbage cans ready. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recall how this song begins. There's talking at the beginning or what. So, Douche, do you recall? I don't remember. I can't help I didn't listen to it either. I tried All right. my hardest not to listen to um, it. I mean, I don't remember this song. What? It ain't easy. Okay. Well, we'll let the music start and then I'll, stop. I'll talk. All right. All right. Cam, would you count us down to go live on air, please? Mm-hmm. Five, four, three, two, one. WTCK Radio, 69.9 FM, where 69 is fine. Uh, WTECK Radio 69.9, where 69 is fine, matey. We got LeBron James and KD. It ain't easy, y'all. My cup be, I bleed out. Dedication, hard work, sacrifice, meditation. I meditate upon a goal that I'm trying to reach. Grinding all day to the top and I ain't trying to sleep. Why he sound like uh, 2 chains? Like his voice. A fake 2 chains. Yeah. Now I'm growing up, I got a couple times. Sound like 2 chains with Wale Club. Semester in school, I ain't no style of homie. A who with me, who with me. Then dudes with me, shoot with me. Pacing on your f***s like Jamal Tinsley. I'm a lap up. Fight before he gets I remember Jamal Tinsley. <laughs> Ken or Tim really got a pirate thing on <laughs> and changed his name to Arg Matey. Arg Matey. <laughs> yeah. I'm LeBron James. Look, now I got a body full of tattoos. Everybody say that I'm changing. That is not true. Same dude that you met a couple years ago. Talk to the heart and you can see past the vision. This is KD still. It's yeah. KD, right? Yeah, yeah it's still KD. He just getting bars off, ain't he? He just said, I have a stream of consciousness. I need to get off. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I 
Oh, this about to be trash. Uh, it ain't easy <laughs> on the path I'm on, but put the world on my back because I'm that strong. <laughs> Where did he do this <laughs> at? <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> sleepy as the motherfucking sound with his iron heart. No chance to make it out. That's what they said. But look at me, I'm here. Boss of the spread. From 602 to 747. I miss you, Grandma Frida. And you just know you're in a booth with like a, a legal pad. On the real. <laughs> <laughs> College rules and shit. Crumbs. I love my news. Uh, they my they my my heart. Cause they've been down with King James from the very start. Single parents. <laughs> Why do you always think so? It's all good, right. pops. You made a kid strong. Ain't no way you can stop this kid. Mama, mama knew was a star from the baby bib. I had to make it out. No other option. No, ain't no man. Who okay uh, this, man? Ah, they pay for it. They pay for studio time. Listen to the voice of this hook sing. You think that's easy? All right, we can fade her first. <laughs> <laughs> it's it okay, we can fade that out. <laughs> Ooh, we can fade that right on out. Screaming <laughs> like a ball. Oh, uh, so, fellas, uh, hot or not? No, on. No. <laughs> Big nose over here. Big nose. <laughs> N O's, capital. Multiple Airstyle. O's. What are you, you said what? Sam said he booty chasing with his mateys. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow! They should have never gave you niggas filth like. <laughs> wow! It's like. What? This yes. man, whoa! <laughs> he, gonna, he gonna change it back before uh, Sam get, get on the Zoom and shit. You were all bad. Who did Jason? Oh, it was bracelet. It was jokes, just jokes, baby. Just jokes, baby. <laughs> oh Lord. Uh, Anywho. <laughs> what are the booty cheek emojis? <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, all right. The NFL has had to make a lot of changes to their schedule due to COVID. See, they got my, my throat all dry now. Pause from laughing. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Room temperature water. Hey, the that sounds delicious. Water. The I'm best run out type there, of water. Turn the water on. Put some put a cup under there. What kind? Are you drinking off the faucet? Maybe. That explains so much. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. We have bottled water. I am kidding. I, am kidding. I do not want E. coli live crypto sporidium around this motherfucker. <laughs> so we drink bottled water around here for sure, for sure. So there's been a few, quite a few games that have been uh, readjusted. Eight different teams had to have their schedule changed due to COVID scares with the uh, Titans and the Patriots. The NFL had a virtual uh, owners meeting today as we record Tuesday, and they're not a fan of the bubble idea, which is not a fan, not a fan. And they also mentioned that, you know, they're open to a week 18 in case. Okay. Why they're not interested. They've been talking about week 18 just in case for a little bit anyway. Them not being open to a bubble just does not make sense. They said that a bubble environment is necessarily a foolproof method. And um, prove me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Show me where that's mean, a lie. When, when was a foolproof method, method the bar like for the NFL? Like what you're doing now clearly isn't working well. Um, like it's tenuous at best. The NBA and the MLB and the WNBA all just completed bubbles and the without NHL. any COVID positive test. Another yeah, reason yeah. that they cited the bubble wasn't necessarily healthy was for the mental effect it would have on the players to be sequestered yeah, in that way. Also, now y'all care about mental health? In NHL? That's what I said. Like it's a that's a valid point. Yo, hide that shit. It is. If y'all, if y'all saying, actually like, were like about that life, but we know you're not. So. That's just like an excuse to not do a bubble, it sounds like to me. 
They just be doing dumb shit. They got a call from Trump. He's like, y'all, y'all gonna make me look bad. Don't do you it. You better not bubble shit. <laughs> <laughs> you better not. Yeah, I don't give a damn. If right now, he can ignore. Not. Right now, they can ignore like the smaller leagues, like the NBA, WNBA, even MLB to an extent. But the NFL, like that, just kind of calls attention to like how monumentally they fucked up. Like the NFL is like, we're not safe in the general public. Like, what kind of what 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 message does that send to their base? Yeah, that's fair. That's yeah. fair. It's a it's an interesting fan. I need a filter. Where's my conspiracy hat? <laughs> <laughs> that's conspiracy hat. <laughs> Wichita State's Greg Marshall Oof. punched the player, Oof. choked an assistant coach, Oof. and directed okay. racial and ethnic slurs at players. Oof. Stadium did a six-month investigation, <clears throat> and now the school has launched an investigation on the allegations. Wild. Wild. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was... Uh, he was man, put my mask on talking about this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 it's gross, bro. But I mean, <laughs> the dude said one of the player that got punched said he went up and made contact with a player when the dude went for a layup. When to help him up and on the way down to help him up, he felt the left hand come across his jaw. <laughs> Looked around the coach standing there. He said just walked off. I don't know. I, I mean, I can understand where he probably stopped. Like, okay, I'm at college. I probably he was probably a scholarship shit like that. So he probably was thinking about that shit. But other than that, because he said he was ready to turn around and fight. <laughs> so I, I mean, that's coach. that's a power dynamic. Like, yeah. that's the coach. They are like controlling that, your your destiny, future. your future. Yeah. Like, damn. He even had taunted one player who was of Native American descent. Like. What Indian howling noises at him? Yeah, like in practice, like that's your crazy as hell. How could you ever think that's like, like, Rips. like I get the I get it's a power dynamic for the players and also for his assistant coaches. But as assistant coaches, like you're the adults in the room, like it's your job to protect the players, even yeah. if it's from your head coach and your boss. So like that's a failure like of the program. Um, <laughs> Or like people have questioned for years, like how come he's been so successful at Wichita State, but has never gotten a look at any like better job. Like he's never even really been a serious candidate. And like these rumors have been out there, not necessarily that he punches players, but just that he's a monumental asshole. Um, but it seems like if if there was enough smoke there that nobody was willing to touch him, like Wichita State had to have at least known mm-hmm. something was going on. They have to. Not know it's negligent. To. And you are still <laughs> I still find fault in that situation because you should be doing your job. There's you should no know what's here. happening with your program. Mm-hmm. No way in here. Especially wait, the, I can I understand mean, I the think that just this past year. <clears throat> okay. I I was saying this past year, I think that they had seven players off of last year's team transfer. Makes Which I think sense. I don't know like the timing because like you said this has like been a six month investigation but like people are jumping off the ship and mm-hmm. maybe it just reached a point where like they just couldn't take it anymore. Well, shit! If he choked mm-hmm. out the assistant coach, <laughs> like I mean, it's yeah, not that was a couple play. seasons ago. Yeah. And they act, they actually like someone went to go talk to that coach, ask him about it. And he was like, "No comment." Like I'm not. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, no, 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 no. He got it. He got to go. You gotta go. Uh, speaking of gotta go, and I think that they said WWE, they, ha- they oh. talked to like. Oh, sorry. I was just gonna say. I think that they said that they talked to like thirty plus former players, and most of them corroborated like they at least the, the the pattern of this type of behavior. So it's been going on for a long, long time. Disappointing. Happy that y'all you know figured it out now, and that some action is being taken. But man. I feel for all the people who had to go through it in the first place. Former WWE champion Alberto Del Rio was indicted on Thursday by a grand jury on one account of aggravated kidnapping and four accounts of sexual assault. So 
I saw that story and I was just like, wait, what? Apparently this happened back in May. He is being accused of tying down his ex-girlfriend with boxing hand wraps and sexually assaulting her for several hours. Now he's being charged in Texas and a guilty verdict could uh, yield him a sentence of about five, between five and 99 years. So I heard that five. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be like, "That's it," and then I heard nine. Nah, nah, okay, yeah, that's more like it. And yeah, whatever you get, <laughs> hey, that's more like it. <laughs> I like it. The Florida Gators. Like he, he ain't been right since like he left the WWE. He's right had a couple that, of like, to be honest, but he's had been so many reports happening issues. with him, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. like yeah. him and Paige. They said they had that when they had got into it or some shit like that, or they said that it was something along those lines, like. uh like a fight or some shit like that between them. Like yeah. it was, yeah, some wild story. Wow. Like that's probably that's one of the reasons why <coughs> that they break up. <clears throat> I forgot they used to date. Still in WWE? Huh? Is she still in WWE? Okay. Oh, Paige? Mm, not necessarily. <clears throat> like she was on the the talking smack and the the after show thing, but the the show that they canceled that had Renee Young on it. Paige was on it too, and that's when CM Punk came back. That's that show. They was on that, but not actively, no. But she was ready to get back in the ring. She did say she's ready to train and come back though, like two days ago. So we'll see. She might come back. She was hurt. That's why she just moved into like the more broadcasting. Yes, mode. If, if Daniel Bryan can come back, like everybody thinks they can. Edge shoot of Edge could come back. And <laughs> oh, Ramon back now. Who? She had like a rare threat injury too. The Florida Gators had to stop their football activities after having an outbreak of the coronavirus. The school announced this earlier today as we record that it was five cases. (laughs) Of the football team? Yes, they were supposed to be playing LSU. Mm. Oh, the team that decided they wouldn't go share a shit about the Corona in a month? Dub correct. I don't think Gross. that was a school Gross. where over the summer he was like, Yeah, we are most of my team already caught it. Like mm-hmm. God damn. Was- mm-hmm. Gotta keep my mask on while we're talking about these nasty niggas. <laughs> <laughs> they douche too. Right. I mean, right. Gross, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Christoph Porzingis, the Mavericks forward center, whichever way you want to call it, he underwent surgery to repair a meniscus tear in his right knee. So, get well soon, KP. Apparently, he should be cleared uh, by training camp. He should be able to do rehab right away. I was like, oh, y'all yeah, can say training camp because no one knows exactly when that's going to be right there. Like, I see what's right. happening. I see what's yeah. happening. The WWE draft took place. There wasn't too much switching around, but the new the day switch. is no more. I would say it. I would say it. But Big E got to get his push. I just felt like he could have did it with the new day, but Say what you. Yeah, it was kind of weird watching the Street Profits and them uh, exchange titles. It was a fun little segment. Even though it, they just handed it over, it was still a fun segment. I was like, I can't wait till you motherfuckers go against each other. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. That's going to be a fun. Year. I'm glad they kind of kept them separated in that aspect because that's going to be a fun deal when they actually get there. So they, they keep them relevant. I agree with that. I agree with that. The so, anyone, like, do, like, their title reigns, like, switch over, or is it, like, a new title reign? No, nah, it's just whatever that. title you have. So, I'm assuming the title reign starts from scratch. I, let me check the wiki right now. This should be up. I only ask because, like, the Street Profits, I know that they said that they were, like, the longest reigning champs since the New Day, like, when they had it for the record. So Ironic that they they're switching with the New Day. Day. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Did anyone who got drafted anywhere surprise you? I can tell you that the mayor wasn't necessarily very pleased with this draft, given that there wasn't too much shaken up. And if you did move to a show, someone who you already had a program with moved with you. 
Like he was like, why is Seth Rollins like why is Seth Rollins Rey Mysterio still gonna be able to continue this feud? Like we don't know, just put them up. It's time. Right. That's the point <laughs> of the draft. Some new storylines. And it seems like a lot of people had already kind of switched over or like started doing like both shows. Like they started those views early before they did the draft. Like um uh big dude, Strowman and Keith Lee, like yeah. they fought last week. Yeah, that was a yeah. As they tore the house, that well, they was tearing the place up. But it it'll be some. Inter- I thought that the draft was me and Sam had like a a game going where we had like a draft and we had our ten people for each show who would go go where and if you got it wrong you had to like take a shot or whatever like that. You just drink some little uh, seltzer or whatever like that. But anyways, <clears throat> we was uh we kind of predicted where a lot of these cats would go, but I do want to see. Bray Wyatt and Alexa Bliss partnership. I think that's going to be dope because when she took over uh, the Sister Abigail move, I was like, that's the perfect move for her. Like, she little, she already low to the ground and shit like that. So it looks, it looks dope as shit when she do it. So that's going to be an interesting one. Um, I'm trying to think. What else was another one? Oh, I can't wait for Ricochet done with the uh, Hurt Business. I'm good on that. I'm like, okay, all the black people ain't got to be in the same storyline no more. So they should make them up. Because like, pretty much all the black people was interacting with each other. Seriously. Mm-hmm. Her business is four cats. And then you had Ricochet and Apollo Crews. For a minute, Mustafa Ali was in there. And at one point, the uh, Street Profits was kind of interacting with them. Before them, it was uh, uh, Andrade and them. <laughs> it's like all the minorities all people minorities. had the same <laughs> interactions. All right, so now they're splitting everybody up, which would be I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing. They ended a lot of tag teams. When did Sheldon um, Benjamin come back? A minute ago. He came back uh, to, like last year. Let's see. No, I haven't watched him for shit. No, I thought it was even earlier than that. It was like when they did the draft, like the first time. Oh, for real? I thought he was hurt. Remember he replaced the black dude in that tag team. Um, oh, uh, Jordan. A little short uh, black dude. Yeah. Dude. Oh. American Alpha. Mm-hmm. Man, that was a cold tag team. They just be killing tag teams, bro. Just killing them. But because single stars are more valuable. I am excited for Roman Reigns and probably Seth Rollins though. I give him that. What? For like they're gonna probably rekindle their rivalry once he's done with Jay Uso and once he's done with The Rock, then he'll have they're like both, uh heels. Hmm? I think they both heels. Yeah, but I mean sometimes they don't care. Like Roman was a heel turn with Fiend and Braun Strowman, all three of them were heels. I thought they said, well, I don't know, I wasn't watching them, but I know like the 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 podcast I listened to, they were saying that they were kind of positioned in what's the name as a face at that time. Um, Who? Bray Wyatt. Bray kidnapping Alexa, I don't think, was part of uh, a face term. <laughs> you mandible clawed her and then kidnapped I'm just, her. I'm just, uh, I'm just going off with what they, what they tell me. Yeah, but okay. Well, yeah, I'm... I'm I thought the draft was cool. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't terrible because I know Fox is the main show now, so I know they put more of the star power on Fox. But Raw, they've been using them to kind of build up people. Like I'm happy Bianca's over there on SmackDown. Her and the feuds were like Bailey and like, them cats. It is funny though. Like when you see somebody get drafted and they um, like you know that their spouse is coming with them, so it kind of like mm-hmm. gets a little bit of a surprise out of it. What you know what yeah. You talking about your bay? <laughs> oh yeah, I was just oh, I didn't know. I, I just knew she went to SmackDown because I follow her on every social media. Oh, did you say every social media? That don't, every. Sound, that don't sound creepy at all. I ain't like that, nigga. That's, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I missed it on Instagram, but I saw it on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> like, hey. <laughs> so, Giannis, the Nasus, and Costas out of the Kumpo. They're going to be the first NBA players to appear in Madden. They're in the yard now, which is that game mode that looked like NFL streets, which is why I almost bought this game because I was like, that just looks like it's NFL streets. <laughs> I would like to play that, but I'm not paying full price for Madden. Mm-mm. I don't blame you. Like, do you think any of the Adeta Bros have ever played American football? Hmm. That's an interesting question. I don't think biggest so. shit. Lanky is a motherfucker out there on the field. They just I mean, released Le'Veon Bell. They didn't grow up here. It, huh? The Jets just released Le'Veon Bell. Oh, just what? let him go. Anyway, sorry. Just released him. Right. Just into the wild. Just, just free. 
Fifty-four million dollar contract. Y'all just released him in his second year. Just let him go. That's crazy. <laughs> well, but I mean, well. and like, not to say that the Jets were great. Like they had a great offensive line, but this season he still didn't. He just doesn't look like he was right. I'm not sure if that was like mentally have he had checked out already. Like I'm not about to even. He wasn't even using him like that though. Like at and all. He, like, and when he, he got used. He wasn't producing at a great level. Like yeah, it was some I mean, Reggie. Maybe he is left. He checked out. Maybe he wanted to go. Maybe he wanted to play like the crap to get out of there. But Could be. He also yeah, took that whole year off. You know, like well, yeah, you know, yeah, it's a real thing. Plus, he's over thirty now. Like, he might just not be good anymore. I'm gonna blame Gacy for now. <laughs> and, and then see and go from there. We'll see what happens. Did he get enough but a team that has a pretty good office coordinator and he still look like crap? Then we'll go there. But for now, yeah. That's wild. <laughs> what ain't wild though, LeBron James and Michelle Obama teamed up on a voting initiative. So they both have their own voting groups and they came together to do a last minute push to get remind people to vote. Get out and vote. So we mentioned that we'd be bringing that up every week. I forgot to do it at the top, which is why I added it to the bottom of the topic discussion. Cause I was like, in case I forget, <laughs> we're going to come <laughs> back to it. November 3rd, make sure you vote. If you can vote early, vote early. Vote. But vote. Is vote. Do it. I saw a video. You know, usually they line. say, I don't care who you vote for. Just vote. No, I care who you vote for this time. Don't vote for Trump. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. That out there. Don't do yeah. that. Nah. Don't yeah. do it. If you plan to vote well, Trump, then then you ain't got to vote. That's cool. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, and if you want to vote for Kanye, you ain't got to vote either. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if you gonna vote for Kanye, Kanye, just stop listening to the show. I don't want that energy. Here. <laughs> you don't need that energy. <laughs> you don't need that boss. We don't need that. Yeah. Boss. Whoever somebody listening right now, like, well, damn. I guess I'll. <laughs> <laughs> Brookfield just turned it off, man. Exactly. Sorry, they Brookfield. didn't turn it off when they <laughs> when Ken was ripping them at the beginning. They turned it off. And now. we've lost Brookfield. <laughs> oh, well, we no, if you and Brookfield are listening, <laughs> that means they down with, with, with what we're talking about anyway. So it's all good. It's all so, love. I thought you were going to say down with the OPP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> just start rapping out of nowhere. Like, what? I'm like, damn, I want. I am. <laughs> Can probably be the hype man. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean that big lit. <laughs> let's go. Since let's talk. Okay, you keep that energy. We're going to blow in the whistle right now. So it's your time to shine, K Harris. All right, I'm out. I'm, I'm ready. Blow the whistle then. All right, now that's enough out of you. You know what? Tee his ass up. You ain't got <clears> the whistle. We got a home drop that just played. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I'm going to start here, yeah, man. Like, huh? Sorry, I was saying about like Tim, Tim and uh, Camille are twins and shit now. Uh, Although uh, Camille's look like Prince glasses and Tim just look like Anderson Pot. I swear you do. <laughs> Hell no. <God. laughs> you must be what That's you funny. put me through. Play my drums and shit. <laughs> Damn it, yo. Little while long. <laughs> Anywho. All right. Um, so, yeah, man, I ain't had no blow a whistle in a minute, man. So um, this would be fun. Um, Skip Bayless, fuck you, bro. Like, real talk. Like, you are the most hating it ass motherfucker in the entire universe, my nigga. You use. Oh, no, anything, do try to mute yourself, man. Hate, bro. <laughs> anything, bro. Hate, bro. It's a hate. Oh, motherfucking LeBron, bro, for no reason. Nah, you do be like, hating. I don't understand, like. I don't understand it, bro. Like I really don't. I don't know what else this nigga, what else this man has to do, bro, for you to get off the nuts. <laughs> like what the fuck, bro? He like shut up, bro. Like you, nuts. you got to be getting paid, bro, to say the hate on LeBron or something like that, bro. Or unless you infatuated with him, you might be that too. I don't know. But you, you need to just get off his nuts, bro. Like come on, <laughs> Jesus hey, Christ. I, I agree with you, bro. Like, and roll this back into everybody. All y'all motherfuckers hating on LeBron for no reason. What are your reasons to hate on LeBron? There are no reasons to hate on this man. Talk to him. And can we, can, appreciate this dog. 
realize greatness when you see it. Like, we are witnessing greatness watching this, man. Appreciate him right here, man. We don't want it to be a Kobe situation. All of a sudden, somebody gone, and we like, damn, like, he gone. Yeah. Like, appreciate like real talk. I can appreciate LeBron while you're here. Dude. I definitely enjoy that he's on the Lakers. I can't lie about that. I was about to say, you niggas now. I don't understand why. You niggas now. I'm saying, look at you, you niggas now. Yeah, I am very, I am. A I year am, and a half ago, we want to hear none of this shit. <laughs> hey, we keep bringing these rings, you know, these chips. Ooh. Motherfuckers that came up. Hey, oh, I'm wearing this nigga's shoes, bro. I have two pairs of LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> they come in the gardens, nigga. I bought them. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at you like you out here really wholeheartedly defending this shit and then Dilch comes through with I'm glad he on the lake. I'm there just, it is. I'm glad for him. I'm, I'm happy. Be like, God we, damn. We won, the the we won the championship. Won? Happy I'm that? happy right now, fam. Nigga, you I am excited. You <laughs> Lakers fans. I am excited. <laughs> Maybe you can come to the Bucks, hey. fam, and win one. You know what I'm saying? You niggas are wild. I, I said all that. <laughs> you know, he he, he thought that. You know. He gonna retire like it. You know, he gonna retire like it. He ain't even want him. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> we here, nigga, and we winning. That's all. <laughs> so hop off. That's his message. <laughs> but hey, man, man, I'm happy for you. Ah. Thank God for you, D, bro. Yeah. Wait, why well, I just get the pitch notification about Derrick Henry stiff arm? It was Josh Norman. Like I had a I had a Camille moment. Nah, Josh. <laughs> nah, Josh. Yeah. It was Josh. That was Josh. Josh. Oh. First of yeah. all, I didn't even know he was still in the league, to be quite honest. But mm-hmm. he on Washington. <laughs> <laughs> I will say though, I made this a Facebook man. status too, but after Kobe passed away, I said I was done with ranking players like the conversation that's come out of all of this, of course, has been LeBron or, or Jordan. LeBron or Jordan. It's like, again, why must we compare? Like, to be honest, gold is a tier. <laughs> it's not just one player. It is a tier. Pretty much when your name can be said with just one part of it, like not your first and your last name, you probably are <laughs> somewhere near that tier. Like, Bron, <laughs> Kobe, Jordan, Bird. Magic, like Shaq, Kareem, Kareem Goat tier. Like it's it's just like now we gonna have debates about who's in this tier or not. <laughs> but to just try to pick one or the other, like it doesn't seem. It's, it's just just enjoy it. You don't get to see goat level activity every so often. Like enjoy it. It's just it's such a tired debate, and like the people on both sides are never gonna change their mind. So it's, no. it, it's pointless. Like. I don't, I, I, I don't give a fuck. Like, that's my blanket <laughs> response to Jordan or LeBron. I don't care. I really don't. I got to watch both. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even right. old Jordan. I appreciate you, Wizards Jordan. I know most people won't say that, but I appreciated you. It's too far for me, but... <laughs> it's pretty too far. I got to see, I got to see the, three, the three-piece, so... Man, I had fun when he came back. It was like a just one final one final goal trying to find the flashes of the old Jordan and would come out every once in a while, but he was still old. Hmm. But he was still gonna give you twenty, so you know. It was like that last Michael Jackson album. It was like it's still Mike, but it, it got a couple I don't hits need on Mike it. Over Dark, it does, but I don't need Mike over Dark Child beats. And like, I think I think that explains Michael Michael Jordan too. <laughs> like I'm not I'm Michael with Dark Child beats. I can't front on butterflies. Heaven can wait. You rock my rock world. world. Like, yeah. Some hits. Other stuff on that album. Not so much. <laughs> Let's move into the TikTok. Like, even five. the hits. Is, well, like butterflies is uh, it, that's an unimpeachable. That but like you rock my world and all that. Like those are objectively good songs. It's just like it's not a good. It's not a great Michael Jackson song. If that makes sense. Like it's like. Cause he on the- it's a good song for everybody else, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean. But it's, it's my- like I kind of expect it a little bit more. It's kind of like I would have to go uh, through. No, Michael, I mean, just there like- are some there are some older Michael Jackson songs that I would rather listen to some of his newer you stuff. Put over. up against older ones. Yes, there. Are, yeah, there are some. Heaven can wait is a bop. That's not a popular known one, but listen, Michael Jackson, Heaven can wait. Mike got off on that song. 
tell the angels, no, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to leave my baby alone. Listen, sing it. Anywho, let's go into the Tech Top 5 for the week. Five, four, three, two, one. Tech Top 5. Last week's Tech Top 5 was the Top 5 Denzel Washington movies. My list one, I appreciate y'all people. I was surprised that the hurricane got off the way it did, but I'm 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 glad that y'all have seen that movie and appreciate that movie. This week's Tech Top 5 is biggest Five. stories from the NBA bubble since the NBA season is officially over. Don't know when we're going to see that again. January, it's February, March, ride, though. sometime in there. But we're going to recount the top moments from the bubble. So, Tim, would you start us off, please? Okay. Uh, number five, I think it was game five, but uh, Donovan Mitchell versus Jamal Murray, that whole series. Like, them two was putting on a fucking show. <laughs> that was some wild, or some of the best basketball I've seen. Like, just that was some good shit. Um, Dame versus the Clippers. <laughs> from the start of the bubble when they was out there calling them to him sending their ass on with his frightening crime on Twitter. Just from the rooter to the tutor, that shit was dope. It was, it was good content. I like shit like that. Need more shit like that. <laughs> um, number three, and this is a big shout out. I'm on my Skip Bayless with this one. And and Max Kellerman. Uh, big shout out to Miles Plumley for handing the Lakers or Mason Plumley, whichever Plumley brother it was, for handing the Lakers their title, but not holding Anthony Davis for that game-winning shot. Bro, That's a wide open. It was a key catalyst to the Lakers, <laughs> Lakers winning that championship. Had to, He went out there and guarded that man. He wouldn't have had that clean three like that. They would have lost that game, and it would have been a different series. But instead, instead, he handed LeBron another chip. <laughs> gave it to that man. I'm sorry, AD. He gave AD another chip. He gave AD a chip. Uh... Uh, Ken, how would you respond to that? Man, fuck Tim. It doesn't matter what you think. Anyways. <laughs> Let me pepper Lou. Number two. You <laughs> <laughs> getting the chicken. That's all. Lemon, lemon pepper Lou. Lemon pepper Lou. Titties. And number one, because it was my squad, I got the Bucks uh, walking off the protest. Get some shit shaking for real. Like, that was, that was dope shit. Like, for real, for real. Like, that was, that was the highlight. Of the bubble. Mm-hmm. I'll give you that. Hold on, I had the air quotes too. Yeah. Drive turkey. <laughs> there you have it. Eric. Uh, so five, I'm going to go with uh, LeBron getting his fourth ring. Like, I think for the, for the you know, in the grand scheme of things for the league, like, that'll be a major thing going forward. Um, Indeed. Bringing back the annoying ass Laker fans. Um, Bro. Legit, it, we here. Sorry. Like I mean, LeBron <laughs> has won four times. We here. His, what he's the Finals MVP for three different teams, like first player yeah. in history to do that. Dope as shit. Hey, greatness. Um, for so I kind of fudge my list a little bit because I'm, I'm kind of lumping things together. But th- like the various duels that we had, like just one on one, like oh, we can do that. We can lump them. Okay. We can lump them. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, I don't want to go, like, Jimmy and LeBron was slightly better than, you know, Murray I, yeah. versus Mitchell mm-hmm. or Luka against, like, Kawhi. Like, we just had some great basketball play in the in the, in the the bubble. Um, so, yeah, and, like, it just – it kept – it was just always a good game on. Like, I – until, mm-hmm. like, game, <laughs> game six of the finals. Like, every, it seemed like <laughs> there was always, like, something going on that was, like, nip and tuck. So – um, neck and neck. Four is the duels. Three, my overarching point is the Dame versus Clippers beef, but just all the memes that we had come out of the bubble, <laughs> like all the different <laughs> way off P. Like, <laughs> jeez, man. All the jokes. Uh, NBA Twitter really like enjoyed themselves. Um, but yeah, the starting, like Tim said, like starting with Dame time. And then Dame kind of like just eviscerating people like in his press conference. Like I sent you home before. I sent you <laughs> home last year. Like y'all respect me. I know. <laughs> he was right. Like, yeah. And then like roasting their ass on Twitter when they got eliminated. Yeah. High quality stuff. I wouldn't be Two. surprised if he dropping this tape on these niggas. Not um, even gonna lie to you. That might become the new technical file theme song if that's the case. <laughs> 
Um, two, I'm gonna go with the bubble itself, like the fact that it actually succeeded and like there were no positive tests the entire what three months that they were there mm-hmm. or whatever. Like, kudos to the NBA, like they really did their thing. Like, yeah, I was skeptical. I wasn't sure we needed it. Yeah, um, but I'm glad that they tried, and I'm glad that they were able to execute. That and hopefully, work. they'll come up with a different plan for next year that works. It was um, and number one is Bucks protest. Like that's bigger than basketball. Is yes, there for sure? Is it? All right. So my honorable mention is going to be lemon pepper. Nah, nah, nah. Actually, that's going to be my number five. Honorable mention is going to be the eight no Phoenix Suns. It was just fun watching them play and seeing if they could keep winning, and they did keep winning. And then to see if they would like make the playoffs. And they, they barely missed it. Like it, it just was entertaining. It, so honorable mention to the to the eight no Phoenix Suns. Number five, Lemon Pepper Lou. That's that's just gotta be on the list. That just it was just such a wild story. And it, yeah. Number four, Clippers blowing the three one lead. So I just thought of it more so like just everything that came after they they lost. Like that series was just fun. And then the Twitter reaction was crazy. Led by Dame and <laughs> CJ. Yeah, that was quite a night. That was a fun night. Like we got done recording and I just got on my phone and I was up yeah. like just on Twitter. Great night. <laughs> Number yeah, that three might be like be... A, a top five night ever <laughs> on NBA Twitter. That's a fact. Number three, I got Luka Mania. Luka Doncic breaking out in the playoffs, showing that like, He's a star. <laughs> He's a real star. I became a big fan of Luca throughout mm-hmm. these playoffs. Mm-hmm. Number two, player duels. Like Eric said, Jimmy versus LeBron, Murray versus Mitchell. Like, it's just been some fun basketball. And number one, the Bucks walk out. That, that protest, because I remember that whole week leading up to it, I was holding everything in, I was together. Turned the game on. Had, it was like three o'clock or something. So I was like about to go into a meeting. I was on the Bucks on mute. Had the game on. Keep working. Woo woo. And they didn't show up. And it was just nothing but an empty court sitting there. And I was just like, I don't know why that image hit me like it did, but that was the image I had to see. And I just broke down. I could not stop crying. Like I was like, this has been stressful. And to see them feeling that weight too, like to know that you weren't alone necessarily. And like, they were using their platform, like they were going to forfeit that game. Like they were going to use their platform to draw attention back to it because they didn't really feel like hooping either. Like it was, it was, it was touching. That's number one for sure. That's a moment that's yeah. That crosses the sport line into like, just my own history. Like that's just, that's history. Number one. Um, so my top five at five, I have Luca when he Luca been, was cooking in the playoffs. Yeah. Um, number four, um, Lemon Pepper Lou. Um, number three, um, Dame going against um the Clippers. All of that shit, the beef, the game, all of that was very entertaining. Um, uh, number two, the Bucks protest. Um, number one, Lakers winning. <laughs> Wouldn't expect, any, wouldn't expect <laughs> anything else from you, sir. That- wouldn't expect anything else. <laughs> what it's going to be, gonna be funny when the list go up. They ain't going to have our name. Everybody going to know which list was Ken's. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> y'all better vote, got <laughs> Yeah, make sure y'all vote. When y'all see the graphic You just know drop. y'all the Laker fans and shit. Right. That's I mean, it. you already got the Laker fans. Uh <laughs> No, this is a setup because you already your challenge was to have all the Laker fans. <laughs> yep. Purple and yellow hearts. Yeah. So now you're gonna I know what oh, to do. I yep. see what you're doing. You all know what to do. Yep. They think they're gonna be partying we get all, wins all shit, across bro. the board. We're getting wins all across the board. Partying all on our shit, bro. Mm-hmm. That's what we do. Well, well. Well, that's the show this week. We hope y'all enjoy it. As a reminder to what the guy said at the beginning, make sure that you tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend about us. We don't grow without y'all. The fact that we are, our voices are heard <laughs> in countries overseas is mm-hmm. ridiculous. Like that's because of y'all, like y'all are sharing the show. You are helping us grow. We appreciate that. We need more. We need Absolutely. More. 
need more. Keep doing uh, that. And make sure that you rate and review the show. iTunes, very important if you can on the Apple Podcast app. Very, very important. Even if you don't have an iPhone or any Apple product, you could also rate us on Facebook. That's also helpful. We only have a couple of Facebook ratings. Like y'all can, y'all can, y'all can do that one. Everyone can do that one. So just some free ways to support the pod. We appreciate y'all. Keep doing what y'all doing. But mm-hmm. if you want to follow me on social media, you can catch me. Wait a minute. On the Twitter, Instagram, and PSN at Camille Monet, C A M I L L E M O N A E, because your mom is fancy. Yes, sir. Can't nobody hear you, boss. <laughs> How about not? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know, that's weird. I wasn't even muted. Um, I had Buster on Twitter. That's all you get. Got name right. Um, everyday underscore gentleman on Instagram. Um, K Harris two sixteen on Twitter and Snapchat. And it's your boy T I M K I N Z D number three. A.K.A. Ask Ketchum, A.K.A. Mr. Give It To Me. <laughs> Y'all keep in touch now. Change his name <laughs> to Chow. Chow Bella. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never gave him filters. Bye, y'all. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Media.